this is the 14th video in the multi-part series on why and how to cool down your twin cam and Milwaukee 8 engine. Today we're going to talk about oil coolers. Oil is the lifeblood of the engine, so keeping it in a good optimum temperature range is very important. We're going to look at several different scenarios. The first we're going to look at are twin cam engines that already have a factory oil cooler installed. If your oil is running hot, hotter than you want it to be, which 230 should be the max, with the factory oil cooler, you have two options. And I've done both options. The first is to add a secondary oil cooler to the one you already have. That's good for a solid 25 degree drop in oil temperatures. And you can do that by adding it to the front down tube. And then you have both oil coolers, your factory oil cooler and your aftermarket oil cooler that are cooling down that oil. Again, that's a solid 25 degree drop. The other thing you can do if you don't want to have two oil coolers is replace the Harley oil cooler, which is not that great of a design, with a Jag oil cooler that has turbulators in it and does a much better job at cooling the oil. And even if you're at the point where you need to do that, it's probably good to do a fan assisted oil cooler. So replace that factory oil cooler with a superior oil cooler that also has a fan. And when we've done that, we've seen a solid 20 degree drop in oil temperatures just by replacing the factory oil cooler. And of course the ideal, which I've done this also, is to replace the factory oil cooler with a fan assisted and add a secondary oil cooler. Now you don't, if you don't need to do that, if your oil temps are good, you, you, you know, don't do that if you don't need to. But do one at a time, make one change at a time and see what your oil temperature is. And I've done that and I've seen a huge drop by replacing the factory oil cooler with the fan assisted and adding a secondary cooler. And there's a lot of guys, especially guys who hop up their engines, they have a lot of high compression, a lot of temperatures, that that's what they end up doing. The second scenario we're going to look at are M8 soft tails and touring bikes that have no water cooling. So the water-cooled M8s in the bagger world and trike world that have coolant, have lowers with radiators in them. We're not talking about them. We're talking about the Rogue Kings, some of the Rogue Glides, the Electra Glides, and all the M8 soft tails that do not have water cooling. They all have oil coolers. The M8 soft tails all have a huge cooler up front. We'll flash it up on the screen showing you how big it is. And in most instances, people are not finding that they need to do anything as far as adding an oil cooler to the M8 soft tails. Some, in, some bikes run hotter than others and some people are adding an auxiliary or secondary oil cooler on their M8, M8 soft tails, but the vast majority are finding that that large oil cooler is good enough. On the M8 baggers with an oil cooler and the M8 freewheeler with an oil cooler, it's a much smaller oil cooler than the oil cooler that is on the soft tail and Though because it's smaller, it's the same engine, even more of a load being a bagger or a freewheeler, most people are finding that they do need to either replace that oil cooler with a, fan, a good oil cooler that's fan assisted or put a secondary oil cooler on there. The next situation are twin cams that have no factory oil cooler. And there's a lot of instances where this can occur on my soft tail that has ABS hardly use the space where they normally put the oil cooler and that's where the ABS module is. So there's a lot of twin cams out there that are not water cooled and don't come from the factory with an oil cooler. In those situations you can either do a low mount oil cooler with or without a fan or a side mount oil cooler with or without a fan. When adding a oil cooler to bikes that are set up like this you can see anywhere from a 20 to 40 degree drop in oil temperature. So that's pretty big and definitely if the oil is running over 230 degrees, you want to use an oil cooler, this is a situation to do it in. So the last scenario are the Harleys, whether they're twin cams or Milwaukee 8s that have a coolant system. 
That's when they have a radiator in the lower fairings with a little vent right here. And in the place where normally they would put an oil cooler is where the water pump is. I've talked to more than a few people who were certain that their twin cooled bike or trike that has water cooling in the heads also had an oil cooler. They do not have an oil cooler from the factory. Where the oil cooler would normally go is where the water pump is. So bikes that have uh, the twin cool have the coolant, the radiators and the lowers. Here we take the cap off of here and you can see the radiator with the fan uh, in it. And those bikes have coolant that circulates around the exhaust valve in the head. They have no oil coolers. And there, there's a video that we're gonna link above and below that shows where we did a test and the oil runs hotter on these bikes that have radiators and coolant circulating through the heads. The oil runs hotter on them than any other bike that Harley made because there's just nowhere for the oil to dissipate the heat. So the very first twin cooled bike that we got here at DK, we went right to work and came up with a patented design where we put an oil cooler right down here right behind the vent in the lower fairing and air gets directed right through that vent in the lower fairing right through the oil cooler and cools it off. It also blocks access to the oil filter so like we talked about in the previous video you need to do an oil filter relocation to get that oil filter out of the way so you can put the oil cooler right in the spot behind that vent. When you use the oil cooler and the oil filter relocation in conjunction on a twin cam or Milwaukee 8 engine that has water cooling, you see a 30 to 35 degree drop in oil temperatures. So again, that's a huge beneficial drop in oil temperatures. In conclusion, whatever scenario you have with your Harley, whether it comes with a factory oil cooler or not, whatever situation you're in, we have an oil cooler that will fit. And it is important, oil is the lifeblood of the engine. And as you can see in video number two of this series, which is linked above and below, the oil is just subjected to intense heat as it's squirted up on the bottom of the pistons. It's very important to keep that oil at 230 or below. There's not a situation where you ride in temperatures above 60 or 70 degrees where an oil cooler is not necessary. All the oil cooler components talked about in this video can be seen in the link below. If you guys found this video useful or interesting, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. We'd appreciate it. Hit the notification bell. That'll let you know when we get a new video out. Share the video with your friends. They may find it interesting or useful. You all ride safe out there. The chickens haven't been going while we've been talking, have they? That rooster was going off. He went off a couple times. <laughs>